Can you imagine buying a rubber ball that only had a certain number of bounces in it? For example, it's good, it bounces and everything, but they say it's only good for 99 bounces. This is the 100th bounce. Well, they were right. Unless there was trickery going on. <laughs> Look at this. There are two here, but one of the rubber balls is a regular rubber ball made out of natural rubber. The other one is made out of a special material called butyl rubber. It absorbs the energy. No, look at this. It really absorbs the energy. Now, why in the world would you ever want a rubber ball that absorbs the energy? Well, you might not want it with a rubber ball unless you're trying to demonstrate this material. You might use it for uh, for something else. For example, like running shoes. H Higgins, give me your give me your shoe. What? Give me your shoe. Ugh. They, uh, they take running shoes, I'm glad we got one of the new ones, and uh, they put sometimes this specially uh, manufactured rubber in there to be able to absorb the energy at certain points in the shoe so that that energy isn't reflected back up into the leg, hurts the knee joints, all those other things that can kind of happen there. So they use a dead rubber for something like that. The mechanics will use the dead rubber as a mat, a special mat that if they drop a wrench or they drop a tool, that it doesn't bounce all over the place. It absorbs the energy and just stops right there so somebody doesn't get hurt. Lots of different uses for it. You could make your own if you had a tennis ball. Normally you'd know a tennis ball bounce as well, but I've put sand in this one, so that absorbs the energy. Just a, a way to be able to show how it absorbs it. And in the Denver metro area, there was a company called Gates Rubber Company back in the 60s and 70s that made the famous Gates Rubber Ball. That was the greatest rubber ball, the Super Bowl, and, and kids in the Denver Public Schools got one um, responsible for lots of broken windows in the 60s and 70s. I asked the nice people at Gates if they would make one out of the butyl rubber for demonstration purposes, and they did. Physics teachers all over Denver have uh, been using the dead rubber ball. But the last challenge I think is really fun. If you took a racket ball, for example, and you cut it in half, watch what happens. If you try to bounce this, it'll just bounce all over the place. It's because the energy's not been focused. That focuses the energy. So if you focus the energy, you remember how a ball can never bounce higher than how it started unless you add energy. Watch this, three, two, one, bam, <laughs> look at that. It's gonna keep the kids busy for hours. What am I saying? It's gonna keep you busy for hours. <gasps> bam, right? It's all about potential energy, kinetic energy, and absorbing energy at the same time. I'm Steve Spangler, and that's your energy absorbing potential energy, kinetic energy science minute. That was a lot. Higgins, take your shoe back.